Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, today we're looking at a beautiful stamp set by Indigo Blue which is called Winter is Coming. Any of our Game of Thrones fans will know the saying Winter is Coming and it's got this beautiful tree, little mushrooms, um, some words, can't quite tell what they say but that's because I need to have my a magnifying glass to read them now um, and these lovely sort of foliage things so I thought we would do a card with that but I'm also going to be using they've introduced some new stencils and um, there's two different ones one is letters and one is sorry one is letters put it on here so you can see it easier one is letters and one is numbers and I thought it would be quite fun to have the tree with, and I think I'm going to have it with the letters this time. Um, so I've got a piece of, of just plain cardstock. And I'm just going to put that over the top and I'm going to do a variety of colours. Now, I'm putting black underneath because it does shine. You can see my camera through, but while I'm doing this, I'm going to take the black out of the way because I don't really want to have that on there. So I'm just putting this over and I'm not going to be using any of my, um, it's quite nice in there, there's sort of a cue with a swirl at the bottom. Um, I'm not going to be using any of my um, ink refills i'm literally just using um a selection of sponge daubers and i'm using them as they whatever's left on them so i think that that will work quite well so i'm just going to bring the stencil in where i want it and i'm going to start with whatever color i've got so i'm just taking the first sort of color in on here and I can come down a bit and this is a bit redder which is quite nice I might do a little bit on here and then let's go into green I just want a variety of different colors that's quite a nice pale green isn't it is that going to come out nicer yes that's going to come out quite well um and i'm literally just oh that's a brown quite nice have a little bit of that on there um i'm literally just going through whatever i've got on my um sponge dauber i'm using so it's a bit of yellow Let's see what that comes out like oh yes i like yellow it's a bit of yellow in the middle like this so it's almost sort of coming up rainbow colours. Um, could do with a bit more blue, couldn't I? I quite like blue. And as I say, it's literally what is on the end of my daubers. Let's see what colours that one is. Not much in on that one. And that green again is quite nice. Let's see if we can get some green in there. Is that purple or blue? Oh, that's purple. That's quite nice. Might just put a little dob up on here. Um, a bit more red, maybe. There, and let's have one of my yellows down in on this corner, I think. Okay. So let's take that off. There we go. You've got these lovely, lovely colours that just gives it a real nice, just like a pop of colour. I think that looks quite nice. Now, I'm going to go round the edge, but I haven't decided what colour and I might just do it with a marker. So now I'm going to take the stamp that I want. So these were the letters. Um, I will put down below... Um, if you don't remember but if you want to buy anything from indigo blue I have a code which is my name Jane 
lowercase Jane 20 and if you do that at checkout you will get 20% off so you know that's quite a quite a reasonable saving um, and you can you know do that however you want um, on any products that you happen to want to buy through indigo blue um, okay now let me have this tree I want to have the tree down in I just want to have I don't want to have too much going on so I'm going to have the tree down in on the corner with the little mushrooms I think and I'm just going to keep it fairly simple so let's use some black ink make sure that I've inked it up well because it is going to go down in the bottom like this and I don't want it to um, I want it to um, stamp really well so because I've done some sponging underneath I'm just going to leave it to absorb in onto the paper um, reasonably well so I don't let's have a look and see oh beautiful look at that I think that's lovely absolutely beautiful um, and then I just want the little mushrooms so these little mushrooms I can put down on a little stamp like that. And I'm just going to have a couple of those down in the bottom. I wanted to keep it fairly clean and simple on this card. Um, just using the, the beautiful sort of colours and things that are coming in. So I want these little, oops, to be careful not to give myself a nasty line. So I'm just going to get them like that. Beautiful. I don't think I want any more. It's the, you, you know, when you like walk away from the, uh, um, the inking, you don't want any more. I think that's going to be absolutely perfect because I don't want lots in it. I want it as a nice, clean and simple card um, because I tend to over overdo things all the time it's my it's my I like having lots going on but to be quite honest sometimes it's nice to not have too much going on and I want just a little word down on here and I think I think I've got oops there's me throwing stuff on the floor I think I've got a little word like love somewhere and I'm just having a quick look I think that underneath there says love. Does it say love? Yes, it does. Right. I've got a little love there, which was from the magazine. Um, that was the first thing that I got from Indigo Blue for a very, very, very long time. And um, I need to have a very tiny little stamp for this um have i got it out i must have it out um let me see if i can find it because i don't want a big one so have i got it up on here you can never see things when you're looking for them can you um i might have to use this one i would normally use a very oh here it is there it is. Right. So I just want this and I'm going to put it. I can't quite see how it. I think it's that way. So I'm just going to give it an ink first. Like that. And then I can put it. I think I'm just going to have it in, let me stamp it first and see. Okay, it's got a little, a 
has it got a line on it? Is that me just not stamping it very well? Let me have a look on here. I don't think it's got, yes, it just comes down like that. It doesn't come over onto the bottom. It's just got a, a cross on it, which is quite nice. So I think I'm just going to have it just there. Um, I could have it out and, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it out. Because I want to just do that little bit of inking on there like that now it's going to come too big isn't it it's going to come in like that and this has got to come in that way this L is quite a big L whereas the rest of the love's quite small so I'm just curling it round a bit like that and I think that will then go in perfectly and then I can I can just go round the outside with a pen and then that will I'm dithering now because I'm thinking if I put that down there do I need to go round it with a pen and if I do is it going to look all sort of lopsided um, let's try it and see so I'm going to put because there's another one there I can cut out I'm just going to glue it on here and I'm going to use the marker and see what it looks like first because that's the thing when you are um, doing this last bit if you then do it and you decide that you don't want it like that then you've already committed yourself and if it doesn't look right you've then wasted the whole card so I just want to use the fine marker on this which is just here I'm just getting them out And then I can put this on. Let's see how that goes. So if that works. Then that's fine. And if it doesn't, then I haven't wasted it. Okay, so that's going to look like that. No, that doesn't look right at all, does it? So I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm literally just going to stamp it because I don't want to have too much going on. As I said, I wanted it to be quite clean and simple. So I'm just going to stamp it. And I'm going to excuse my head if it comes in. like that so that's beautiful it's all in that bottom corner and then all I need to do is um, to get a card blank which I've got one here and that's going to go on there but I need to do my marking so I'm just going to take my black out of the way for a minute bring in my scratch pad which you can see that I've been doing some colouring and stuff on there anyway. Black marker. Um, a ruler with a metal edge because that helps to give a really nice straight line. And then I'm using these fat ones so that we have um, the Posca pens. You've got thick pens and you've got thin pens. Now these are really good so I just want these in. 
and then I'm going to just draw a straight line straight down there. And turn it round. And by doing this, it gives a really nice crisp edge, but you don't have to mask it. Um, you don't have to do a mat with it so that you're saving quite a lot in your papers. So I'm just taking this on here. Like that. There we go. I think I've got a little tiny bit of black just at the top and down the bottom on there. I don't know quite how I managed to get that, but um, I could always do some splatter. Um, and if I did a little bit of splatter, then that would stop that, wouldn't it? So let's just do. Um, I just need to take a. Let's get a paintbrush and we just need to tap it. Don't want it to be too thick. Come on. Just get some little tiny splatters to come on. Not very good at doing these splatters. I always tend to get two big bits and I don't want two big bits. I'm going to try with the other, with the smaller pen and see if I can do it with that one. Um, there it is. Okay, because the idea is that you take this this way. That's better. Now we're getting some nice little splatters. that looks absolutely fine and if you look you can see I've got very very fine just very very fine splatters on there like that however these spots are annoying me a little bit so I'm going to go and get something else which will work so bear with me two seconds and I will just get something that will um, finish it off Okay, so, sorry, I had to go and get it from the other room. If you're wanting to just add some splatters, and I'm only doing it because I managed to get some splots, I have got a, um, and this is a very old retard stamp set from Stamping Up called Gorgeous Grunge. It has its own splatters on it, and I like to use it all the time. And this gives you the splatters that you want without having to do a, um, a splatter. So I'm just going to take this and put it all the way down to just give another little look to this. And I'm inking it each time because I want it the same strength. So you can see where I had my mistake it's hidden completely now and then if I put this on so I'm going to take this off of here use my black because then that just looks nice on there and then that's my white card that's going to come in like that on there and you have a very simple card but really really pretty with the splatters on so i hope you enjoyed that as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye